Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another video. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a flickering light with Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so, I'm just going to begin here by showing you kind of a little demo of what I was thinking we're going to make. So, you know, something like this. And just a little flickering light at the end of the hallway here. Uh, my camera movement is set up like this. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously go up to your object, lights, octane area light so you know the light we're going to actually control um we're going to just move it to the end of the hallway like so position it just so it kind of roughly covers the whole end of the hallway there and this light is facing the wrong way so we're going to have to rotate it and go to our octane light coordinates 180 there we go it's facing the right way now we go into our camera, get it like that. Um, it's a bit bright. Uh, we'll decrease it. Uh, it won't be controlled by um, the power when we're done because the the, uh, the power will be controlled by the flickering effect. But for now, we can decrease it like that. Okay, the temperature. I was going for a blue light, so I'm going to increase it. Um, give it that kind of temperature. If you want to, you can use a texture, C4D Octane, and an RGB Spectrum to control the exact color you want. But I think this serves serves looks pretty good for now um serves us fine okay so now for the actual flickering part so uh let's just go back to frame one here and essentially what you want to do is you want to um right click on your octane light okay we're going to go through cinema 4d tags and we're going to use espresso now this is we're going to do some very basic espresso it's not going to be anything hard complicated it's going to be very simple so we're going to open it up here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, our x pool here and search we're going to grab a noise shader and this noise shader, we're gonna drag it in like that. And then we're gonna drag in the tag here, the octane light tag. We're gonna drag that in over here as well, just like so. Now we're gonna drag our um, noise onto the input, the output of our noise onto the input of the octane light. Okay, it'll ask us to choose one of these. So we're gonna go to light settings and power. Now I'm gonna just go out of my camera for a second here and we're gonna go back into the tunnel thing. And I will show you here. It does indeed um, have a bit of a flickering. Okay, but it's it's pretty faint, um, and it's not really, you know, like you can see there. Now it's on. Like now it's off, but it's it's very faint. So we need to change that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our noise here. We're gonna click on that, and you want to change the amplitude. Now I'm gonna bring this up to about thirty. Okay, um, and actually, you know we'll do fifty. There we go. Um, and then we're going to change the frequency. We're going to bring that up. I'm going to bring it up to like five ish. Um, and this will mean that we have a bit of a quicker flickering. So you can see like that, this flickering on and off. It's a bit tricky to see because our octane thing is laggy. Um, I can go to options, subsampling. Uh, it'll decrease the quality a bit, but it'll render. Um, it'll, the timeline will go faster, but the quality of the render will be decreased if we bring our subsampling. Uh, to one, but you can see here it does indeed flicker um, So just to show you the controls here the scale it doesn't matter the seed is kind of like if you want okay, so scale doesn't matter Frequency that's how fast it's flickering. That's how quickly it's flickering. Um, this is very useful um, The amplitude is also very useful. It is how strong you want it to flicker So do you want it to be a very dim light that's flickering between off and very dim or do you want it to be made a brighter light? That's flickering between off and very bright or you know, change like that. Um, seed, uh, that's kind of like, it'll play the exact same flickering pattern every time. If you want that pattern to be different, you can change the seed and it is now different. Um, the positive only, this is going to make your light a bit like it'll, the light won't really be as much off pretty much ever. It won't really be off ever. It'll be like bright or dim. So I recommend turning off positive only because that's um, that means that it'll allow the noise and espresso to go to negative brightness, which all that means is that it'll be completely off. So um, positive only, you turn that off, you'll get a nice kind of flickering effect. And the final thing is the noise type, which you can change. Um, so right now I'm just using noise. That's simple. Wavy turbulence, you know, perhaps get a more different, random, unique kind of noise. Um, I'll compare them here. Just normal noise. 
Normal noise is very linear, on off, on off. You know, we have some wavy turbulence. It's got more kind of. It, it's more random, you know, more random flickering. Um, anyway, that's that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. I know I haven't uploaded a lot lately. I've been building a new computer, been kind of busy with school, and I haven't really been sure what tutorials to uh, upload. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to take on uh, any suggestions that you guys have. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. See ya.